Okay, hello and welcome everyone. Welcome to JFD Traders Tea Time with me, Dyson Chauskas. Today's the 5th of December 2019. So welcome everyone. Welcome to this Thursday's afternoon session where we're gonna have a quick look at the markets, a few of the charts, um, the usual stuff. But before we do that, as always, um, let's quickly have a read through our risk disclaimer. So the content we produce does not constitute investment advice or investment recommendation should not be considered as such and does not in any way constitute an invitation to acquire any financial instrument or product. As always, a few seconds for you to read the rest and we can continue. Okay, guys, I really do apologize for the internet connection here or the, the quality of the video that I'm, uh, uh, or let's say no, no quality at all. So I do apologize for that as, uh, in uh, straight away because, like I said, I'm, I'm for some reason, again, I'm experiencing these technical issues. Um, hopefully, I'm going to sort those out, so those out soon, but... Um, Basically, guys, um, you can also uh, see the video in recording after uh, I finish uh, with the live stream. So, uh, yeah, guys, sorry. Once again, sorry about that. Um, but uh, if we quickly jump into the charts now, probably um, I'll skip the... As always, you can find our details on YouTube here on our YouTube page and, of course, our JFD Bank website. But guys, let's not waste probably any more time. Let's jump into the charts. Now, the first one I want to touch on here is the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Um, looking at the um, looking at this picture here, basically we had a nice recovery here yesterday. The uh, the index traveled a little bit higher and uh, it overcame this barrier right here, the 27,675 zone that I talked about. Um, the and uh, looking at the cash index right now, a, the index is currently balancing not far from this 27,000. And let me just adjust this level here very quickly near this 27,782 zone. So, in a way. Uh, what I was saying that yesterday that in a way all this territory is going to be somewhat of a of a neutral one for us but in order to consider higher levels ideally maybe we would like to see a push back above the uh, 27,836 mark um, or a little bit higher here just for that extra confirmation you could keep an eye on this little level right here near the 27,895 mark so in a way uh, for now it's 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 tricky on both sides on one hand yes we did break this upside line then we could see this uh, drifting a little bit further further south because this we yesterday's uh, move higher could be just seen as a temporary correction uh, before another leg of selling but on the other hand uh, we did have a decent rec recovery here so the big question here is can I actually uh, go back to the downside for now as long as it, let's, let's put it that way as long as it remains below the 27,895 zone right here uh, in a way we're going to remain uh, somewhat bearish and uh, we're going to continue targeting the downside if it travels above the, the 27,896 then we will start considering maybe higher levels again but again we will be very careful because these levels here are the only all-time highs so um, it will be quite interesting to see if the index actually can make a new all-time high but judging from the recent activity it seems that uh, the index might be struggling with the, a bit of upside so let's keep an eye on this one guys uh, let's see how this is gonna play out uh, but for now everything's kind of leaning more towards downside if we do see a drop lower then keep your eyes on this little tentative downside resistance line which now could uh, take the role of a nice area of support so keep your eyes on this one um, and uh, that could be roughly around the 27,150 mark. But again, for now, let's all eyes are on, on this territory right here because it's currently balancing just uh, around this area near the 27,782 zone. Uh, let's see if, if the bulls do have enough steam to push this one higher or not. Uh, but again, we are leaning more towards a, another move lower. Um, so let's see how this is going to play out. Um, silver. 
silver um, drifted south here. So this is what I talked about recently when I was where I was covering silver. Basically, I was saying that um, in a way. Um, for us to consider higher levels, we needed to see a push above this barrier right here. Initially, of course, we were targeting this. It was pushing high, higher nicely, pushing, and uh, initially we were targeting the 17.20 zone uh, near this 200 EMA here on the four-hour chart. You can see that we did have a few overshoots, but never got a kind of got a close uh, of a four-hour candle above this level. So, in a way, uh, for now, um, for now, we're gonna keep an eye on this barrier here. Uh, this is basically just confirmed confirming a up uh, the the possible range here um, or should I say actually already a range here so this is uh, basically confirming the upper bound of the range uh, currently the commodity is balancing near the lower side of the range near the 16.79 uh, level so in a way if we do get a drop below this then we this would confirm a forthcoming lower low and we could target lower areas but again it's also very tricky it also dependent on the equity markets if the equity markets start sliding then uh, well, this could pick up the pace again and push back to the upside towards the upper side of the range. So in a way, how you could play to play this one out is if we get a push back above the 16.93 level, then we'll consider a possible move higher here back to the upper bound of the range. If this drops below the 16.79 level, then this would con could open the path towards lower, slightly lower areas. Initially, we'll target the 16.62 and then we'll take it from there. Slightly below that, we do have the 16.51 zone which uh, also could be a nice area of support as it previously acted as uh, uh, as it previously managed to held uh, the price from moving lower on the 13th of August to this year so let's keep an eye on this one guys um, Another interesting commodity to keep an eye on, and this is what I talked about this morning, WTI oil um, pushing nicely through this uh, barrier right here um, and uh, Basically, um, we were this morning we were hanging around here, and what I was saying that in order to get comfortable with the upside, we need to see a nice good push above the 53, uh, 58.70 zone. And uh, in a way, we did get a push, but it it seems that it's struggling to close the four hour, at least the four hour candle above it. If we do get a nice close above this, then yes, we will get a little bit more confident with that there is a possibility for this one to move higher. But if it struggles to close even a four hour candle, then well, it's something not right here and uh, we could see this one reversing maybe b back down um, this is where you could in a way keep your eyes on this little low here that we saw today uh, near the 58.06 uh, zone and uh, if we do get a drop below this then we could consider a possible slide here to towards the 200 EMA initially and then we'll take it from there um, AD USD. So, uh, quite interesting. One, uh, quite an interesting one. Uh, I've talked about this one in the beginning of this week, and in the beginning of this week, I was telling telling you uh, to keep an eye on this falling uh, falling veg pattern, which uh, broke out nicely according to all technical rules uh, to the upside. Um, the only thing is that you can see that the pair traveled higher. It reached one of our levels here near the 0 0.6857. Uh, it it almost uh, almost reached another one of our targets near the 0 0.6865 uh, but as you can see failed by a few pips and then reversed quickly to the downside so in a way uh, for now uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to remain neutral and keep an eye on some of these key support and resistance levels. So, in a way, uh, what you could do here is, and let me just actually get rid of some of these lines um, so they would no longer be in, in our way. Um, so, what you could do here is um, keep an eye on this barrier right here near the 0 0.6810 uh, mark. A drop below this and ideally a close of a four hour candle below this could uh, open the path towards slightly lower areas here this way the rate would also be placed below its uh, below all of its EMAs here on the four hour chart and this increase this could increase the chances of the pair drifting lower towards the 0 0.6780 mark here so we, we're, we will initially target this area and then we'll see what he wants to do after um, in terms of the upside we'll take a very careful and cautious approach for now and wait for a push above the 0 0.6865 and only then target the upside here so that's why guys be very careful with this one um, some could maybe say that this is uh, this could be somewhat of a, a pennant or a flag here on the bigger on the bigger 
picture. Uh, we will consider that if we see a push back here uh, to the upside and we see a break of this uh, 60, 68, 65 level, then this would confirm that. And uh, yep, we could target higher levels. So keep your eyes on this one, guys. There, These are some, some levels to, to monitor. Um, let's see how this is going to play out and which way that's going to break to break out to because for now we're we will remain neutral and wait for the, the signal um, USD JPY I've looked at this one recently and this week and basically I was telling you to keep an eye on this upside line because if this upside line holds then we could see a nice um, a nice push back to the upside so you can see that the um, the pair um, is the pair has re, has rebounded nicely here to the upside um the big question here is uh can this move back down but again probably all this now will re, uh, will depend on the the whole risk environment and how the equity markets are going to be performing if the mar equity markets will start selling off then um then well we could see uh, the usd jpy dropping as well because the the yen buying would be increased and uh we could start considering maybe lower areas the only thing is that for us to consider lower areas we would need to wait for a, not only a break of this upside line but also a drop below the 108.45 level and then we will aim for the downside here the important level to keep an eye on will be this one right here near this the 107.87 zone so let's keep an eye on this one um in terms of the upside here we will target higher levels if we get a push above the 109.21 zone so let's keep an eye on this one guys and uh yep for now we're going to remain neutral and just continue observing the price action uh, we can actually get rid of this one right here now because uh now this all this territory here becomes uh, so somewhat of a neutral one for now uh gbp euro so uh you tend to look at uh, euro gbp but this is slightly different in a way the other way around um but what i was saying this week basically that uh we may see a nice test of the upper bound here we got our test uh, but then the idea was that in a way it could reverse back to the downside if this upper bound continues to hold the rate so we could we I, the idea was initially that we may see a bit of a correction here the only thing is that we got a instead we got to push through the upper bound of the channel um, and uh, now basically this channel is no longer valid so we can actually get rid of it from the chart and and uh, have a look at this from scratch so um, overall of course you can see that the pair continues to move higher so it is trading above this um, above this uh, medium term upside support line here taken from the low of August and uh, for now for now and uh, the, at the same time it, it's also trading above a, a shorter time for a shorter uh, upside support line here but uh, given that it's it has already quite distanced and not only from this shorter shorter uh, upside support line but also from this medium term upside support line there is a possibility to see this one uh, retracing back down a little bit because again looking at this picture um, it seems that uh, we are quite overstretched here to the to the upside but don't get me wrong uh, this is what happened in in bef well, before August basically uh, after May when the uh, the pair just continued rallying and uh, it, it didn't want to even retrace back down so that's why euro GBP GBP euro are always the tricky ones here they sometimes tend to move in one direction and just and uh, sometimes uh, it's very difficult to kind of uh, find a retracement on this one so that's why guys be very careful in a way uh, how you could look at this here is basically if we'll start seeing a push above the recent highs here um, let me just put this one on the chart near the um, near the, the 1.1861 zone then yes this would confirm a forthcoming higher high and we could aim for higher levels uh, but uh, from the very short term perspective in a way uh, if it starts dropping below this little territory right here which was the which is the low of today um, then yes uh, which is the around the 1.1823 we could consider a, a bit of correction here but we will be very careful near this territory right here near the high of the uh 27th of november um and that's um 
and that's around the 1.1764 level. So that's why, guys, be very careful here. Uh, as, like I said, be very careful with the Euro, do, uh, Euro uh, GBP and uh, um, GBP Euro here in this case. Uh, so keep for the way you could play this one out is just try to capture a small break here in order uh, not to mess up your accounts, guys. Because like I said, Euro GBP, GBP Euro tends to sometimes just move in one direction. So be very careful with this one. And the last pair for this session is going to be Euro Dollar. Now, uh, with this one, I talked about this morning and basically I was saying that in order for us to consider higher levels or should I say start considering higher levels we need to see a push back above the 1.1093 so we are getting that right now um, the big question here is can it stay above this because uh, because as you can see yesterday we did have a nice strong push higher but the pair never stayed above this for that day for yesterday and uh, we saw the um, the pair sliding back down and closing the day uh, below the 1.1093 the same idea applies for today's trading as well. If we do see the pair uh, staying above this barrier, the 1.1093, 1 1 uh, then there is a good chance we could see this one drifting further north. But just for that extra confirmation, to push above the yesterday's highs, uh, yesterday high here near the 1.1116 could do the trick here for more buyers because this would confirm a forthcoming higher high and we could target the 1.1140 mark that we are aiming for right now. For the moment, uh, after if we get a touch of this, then we'll reevaluate everything again. In terms of the downside, if this suddenly drops back below the 1.1093 and stays here, then this all this territory here is somewhat of a neutral one for us. Uh, for us to, to start considering lower areas, we need to see a drop below the 1.1065. But in order to get a little bit more comfortable with the downside, uh, a drop below the 1.1043 level is required. So let's keep an eye on this one, guys. So. Okay, guys, I really hope you found it useful. Um, just to kind of let you know um, that there won't be any video of Traders Espresso and Tea Time tomorrow. Uh, we will resume on Monday. But I, once again, I do apologize for the uh, recording, for the quality of the video. And uh, you can view the video, the, the recording of it, um, after I've, I've fini I'm finished with the live stream here. And, I'll, yep, like I said, I'll upload this one. And uh, like I said, once again, I do apologize for the quality. And uh, I hope you'll join join me on Monday uh, where I the the I hope the issues is going to be resolved so but anyway everybody thank you very much for joining in and uh, st staying tuned in so thank you very much and I'll see you on Monday at my Traders Espresso 7 o'clock GMT time thank you very much and bye bye